Wise County, Virginia. It's exactly what you'd expect to see in Virginia's southwestern Appalachian Mountains. Beautiful vistas, mountain lakes and waterways, and an abundance of wildlife. But Wise County is much more than meets the eye. Wise County is not a mountain oasis that is separated from the world. Wise County, Virginia is located in far southwestern Virginia near the eastern Kentucky border, approximately 90 minutes northwest of Bristol, Virginia. Although we are a rural area, we are at the intersection of five states and within minutes of many larger cities. Historically a coal mining region, the area is tied together by a strong highway system built for heavy mining and manufacturing but it is also equipped with a robust high-speed data highway with the Linowisco fiber optic network that runs throughout the region. This network ties all of our areas together with redundant paths to commodity internet and one of the nation's only tier three data centers minutes away in Duffield, Virginia. The Wise County, Virginia community consists of seven towns within minutes of each other allowing for quick commutes for area residents to workplaces around the county. Now we would like to take just a few minutes and introduce you to the city and towns that make up Wise County, Virginia. Appalachia, Virginia officially became a town in 1908. Railroads hauled people and supplies in and tons of coal out to customers around the country. Dozens of coal communities were built to house miners some with their own schools, stores, hospitals, theaters, and churches. The history of our town is exciting and unique, but we believe that you'll find Appalachia even more exciting today with our beautiful mountains, hiking trails, and our downtown stores and community events. The town of Appalachia has one of the lowest real estate and personal property tax in the state of Virginia. We have a great water delivery system. We produce our own water. Um, we are transitioning, of course, from this coal production community to another type of community. And we are trying to take it in a direction of having tourists come to the area. We are developing a trail system and what goes along with that is because there is this transition of coal production to another industry, we have available on Main Street numerous buildings that are available for some entrepreneur to come in and develop a business. We have available several residences in the area that could be developed into uh, bed and breakfast situations for these travelers that come through town on their ATVs. But in addition to that, the town has available a piece of land that is flat and it's about 15 to 25 acres and it has available to it rail service and all the utilities, water, sewer, electric. That is a, a major piece of land that could be developed by some manufacturing company that needs rail service. We have also in time past talked about developing the Crest Mine site, which is on the Wise and Lee County border, to retrofit it and turn it into a natural gas delivery system. Our heritage of coal runs deep, but we know that we have to change and we want to go in that direction. And we have our arms open to anyone that would want to come to the area and 
we're ready to help them develop whatever type of business that would be beneficial to the town and to the county. During the summer, Appalachia's Coal Railroad Days features five days of fun with carnival rides, music, and food for the whole family. Step back into a simpler time and come and visit Appalachia, Virginia. Big Stone Gap is nestled in the beautiful mountains of Southwest Virginia near the head of the scenic Powell Valley. With a population of 5,000 citizens, it is small enough to provide the comfort and security of small town living, yet offer excellent educational and healthcare facilities. Big Stone Gap is also moving forward with new technology and communication for business and industry as well as personal use. Millions have heard of Big Stone Gap thanks to Adriana Trigiani's series of novels that have chronicled life in our town. Big Stone Gap is rich in history and heritage. When you visit, allow sufficient time to tour our four museums, watch a production of The Trail of the Lonesome Pine, or enjoy traditional mountain music as you travel the Crooked Road. Also, make sure to take a walk on our Greenbelt Walking Trail along the Powell River, visit Big Cherry Lake, or attend Homecraft Days at Mountain Empire Community College. We had lived in larger places. Um, when I was growing up, as I, I said to many people, I could walk to town. I grew up right in front of Bullet Park, and that was one of my favorite things to do, would be go down to Bullet Park. There was always something going on in Bullet Park. Or, I, you know, on fall days, I'd just go down and sit on top of the stadium. You know, we have um, excellent school system there. As Park Wise County Schools, we have excellent recreation facilities, we have excellent cultural facilities, we have three museums in Big Stone Gap, um, we have the most beautiful Greenbelt system and as of this summer, the whole Greenbelt will be completed around the whole town. We have uh, Mountain Empire Community College in Big Stone Gap, which is also able to link students. They can complete a four-year degree through um, Old Dominion University. If they can do their, they can stay there the whole four years. They also can go two years to Mountain Empire and transfer virtually anywhere um, in, uh, to UVA Wise or to Virginia Tech or any of the of the. East Tennessee State, any of those schools will accept their transfers. Our um, museums are just, they're just jewels. We have um, the Southwest Virginia Museum, the Harry Miller Cole Museum, um, the John Fox Jr. House, which is also a museum. John Fox Jr. House is just amazing. I really love Big Stone Gap because it's my hometown. I raised my children there. I love the people there. I love the beauty of Big Stone Gap. It's always beautiful no matter what the season. I just think it's a great place to live. The town of Coburn is nestled in the mountains of southwest Virginia and is situated in the southeastern portion of Wise County, just off Route 58. Originally, the town was named Guest Station after Christopher Guest. When the town was incorporated in 1894, the name was changed to Coburn in honor of W.W. Coe. 
chief engineer of the N and W Railroad, and Judge W. E. Burns. The home of Jim and Jesse and Ralph Stanley II, Coburn is also widely known today for its beautiful downtown, complete with antique lamps, brick sidewalks, and pedestrian bridges. The town spans 1.9 square miles and is home to approximately 2,000 people. Coburn is conveniently located within a 10-minute drive of lodging, restaurants, and shopping. My favorite things at Coburn, there's a bunch of them. Uh, uh, the motto of it is uh, I'm a friend of people, and that's very true, and it has been. It's a great place to grow up, a great place to go to high school, to work. I worked uh, my whole career in Coburn, in Wise County. Uh, so the friendly people is a good thing. Leadership through the years, we had Mayor Harold Ringley, it's very creative, and, uh, and so it was good to be a part of that as a citizen and in work as well. I worked with the Redevelopment Authority. So we were able to, to do a lot of creative things, and people were interested in that, and the purpose of it was to create a good atmosphere for the businesses and the people to raise the quality of life. Lace Hardware is uh, an artisan center. Uh, it is an affiliate of the Crooked Road, the uh, Virginia's Heritage Music Program, around the mountain, uh, Southwest Virginia's artisan organization, uh, in which we have a Thursday night jam session Friday night, a bluegrass country music show with a rotating group of area bands. Uh, we have classes in pottery and uh, wood carving, uh, stained glass. We get visitors at the Lays Building literally from all over the world. You have an incredible pace of life here. People are laid back, kind of go at a leisure pace. And he said retirees and people with means are desperately looking for that. You know, through their careers, they maybe in metropolitan areas have gone through traffic and this incredible pace of life said you have an incredible asset in that you can come here and enjoy doing nothing. Established as a town in 1894 and later as a city in 1954, Norton, Virginia is a community that is proud of its heritage and excited about its future. Centrally located at the intersection of US 23 and Highway 58A, the city has for many years served the region as a commercial hub to parts of Southwest Virginia and Eastern Kentucky. Norton has long been known for the Flag Rock Recreation Area overlooking the city and the Observation Tower at High Knob where you can see several states from one point of view. This beautiful view from High Knob is one of the most incredible vistas in the country. Norton has a vibrant downtown area with many types of businesses ranging from hardware to music. Norton also is a regional site for commerce with two of the largest shopping centers in Wise County.
Norton is a, uh, is a community that has a lot to offer. We have a lot of the areas retail development. We have a lot of the uh, areas um, uh, eating establishments. Uh, and one of the unique, really unique things we have is we have two of the area's three hospitals, uh, along with a VA clinic and a uh, regional cancer center. And I think any new citizen coming to Norton, or even the area as a whole, uh, would find those, uh, all of those establishments very important. Yeah, the city's approach to economic development has been that we looked at our downtown as our industrial park and uh, we haven't gone out to develop a large industrial park uh, outside of the downtown area, but rather we've invested money in the downtown area uh, through um, renovation of existing buildings such as the Hotel Norton uh, or the AT&T Center. These were initiatives that the local government initiated and uh, marketed to companies to come and provide jobs in the area and we've been very fortunate and had that happen. Norton, like most of the localities in the region, is, uh, has been blessed to, to get a lot of broadband development in recent years. Uh, in Norton alone, there's probably three to four different broadband networks that are throughout the whole city, uh, specifically in our downtown area. And because of that, we do have several buildings that's kind of been designed and renovated to serve those businesses like call centers or data centers. Um, with the needs that they have in order to uh, communicate and connect to places all over the world. Um, specifically, one of the buildings that we've been very successful at is the Hotel Norton. And uh, uh, in the Hotel Norton, there's even a small business incubator that is uh, on one floor of the hotel. And uh, that's, that space is specifically designed to benefit small businesses who are just starting up. And all of the necessary uh, broadband or other infrastructure they may need to start their business is all right there in that one space for them. If a business uh, or commercial entity is concerned about location, I think Norton has to be the best location in the area for them to consider. We have two major highways that intersect uh, in Norton, US 23 running north and south, uh, and alternate highway 58 running east and west. Uh, 23 has about 24,000 vehicles a day. Uh, highway 58 has about 15,000 vehicles a day. A lot of people are coming through Norton every single day. And if that is important to certain businesses, then I think that would be a reason they want to consider the city. Our city is also the site of the Best Friends Festival, sponsored by the City of Norton and the Wise County Chamber of Commerce. The Best Friends Festival brings thousands of people each year for fun, music, food, and of course, fellowship with friends. Norton has the unique status of being the smallest city in the Commonwealth of Virginia. We invite you to visit the city of Norton, Virginia and see why our small city could be the perfect place for your small to mid-sized business. There's always something happening in St. Paul, Virginia. From the farmer's market, town festivals and car shows to the parades and musical events. St. Paul is a lively and active place, not only for its residents, but also to hikers, bikers, and boaters from across the country. Our town leaders and citizens are working together to grow our hometown into a recognized epicenter, both economically and ecologically. The people of St. Paul believe that the two E's can coexist and flourish while maintaining our unique small town character and heritage. Through partnerships with regional and state entities, as well as our own ingenuity and hard work, we are making St. Paul the place to live, do business, and have fun. Our farmer's market has expanded and now is a major attraction for people from around Southwest Virginia. The Main Street and downtown revitalization work is beginning and visible changes are starting to show up with new facades, storefronts, painting, and awnings. 
All of this planning and work has been focused on one thing, making St. Paul a great place for new and existing businesses. More work is being planned for new landscaping and improved views of the Clinch River. St. Paul wants to see your business here, and we are planning and making changes to see that happen. St. Paul is a uh, small, close-knit community, okay? We, everybody knows everybody, they go to church with everybody, uh, they bank together. Uh, uh, I guess you could say we're, we're going to live and die together. And we have a, a group of citizens that are very much interested in moving St. Paul forward. And uh, we're developing uh, ideas and moving forward with some of the programs that we've developed. In, in. Since 1980, it's been in a, uh, had to, had a redevelopment area where we, uh, uh, because we changed uh, the, the river direction to avoid flooding, we've had uh, new industry, I mean, excuse me, new business come in, grocery stores, retail stores, pharmacies, uh, fast foods have come in, and uh, it's been successful, uh, and now we're stepping back and we're wanting to see what we can do downtown to encourage people down there. So uh, we've uh, acquired a, a DHCD grant uh, for roughly $770,000 um, to do facade work on the historic district downtown, and that includes uh, outside work, uh, awnings, uh, sidewalks, uh, windows, uh, signage, uh, all to make uh, the downtown more attractive to a small business. If you've ever been to our farmer's market on Saturday, you know it's, it's as much selling as it is visiting. We've been working with DHCD, which is a main part of the Main Street organization. And so I think Main Street, they, they see people that want to become involved and they see a community that wants to move forward and try to develop their assets that they have, okay? And that's what happens. And so we were very fortunate and we didn't think we had a shot at it because we're so small, but we were fortunate enough to be able to go and, and obtain the designation and it's not just something you get and forget about you have to maintain certain standards to maintain that to designation in St. Paul uh, in a redevelopment area we have a 280,000 square foot uh, building that used to be a ready to assemble building RTA furniture building and it's it's pretty good size and it's got an office complex that goes with it. Uh, so it would uh, naturally draw in an industry that hopefully would generate 100 to 200 jobs. And there's plenty of parking, and we feel like that uh, with, with a sustainable industry, something that environmentally sound is not gonna pollute the area, that uh, it'd be a very viable thing for, for them to do, to come in we don't, we don't care where they come from, just come, come and see us and we'll let you see what we've got, you know. We want to help them, we want to be a location where they can come and, and manage those, those, uh, those talents. From an infrastructure standpoint, uh, we're tied to the world. So you don't need to have a building in Chicago or a building in New York you can operate here and do the same uh, as, as you were if you were in a larger city. I look forward to visitors coming. We're proud of our town. We want to show it off. I want you to put your roots down. Come on, come on, get on board, you know. And if you want to volunteer, uh, we got more stuff for you to do than you've got time. So, I mean, if you just want to be a part of the community, it's easy.
Pound, Virginia is the oldest town in Wise County, located on the border of Virginia and Kentucky along the Crooked Road, Virginia's Heritage Music Trail. Pound Gap has long been the gateway through the Cumberland Mountains to the west. Daniel Boone and Christopher Guest used this route to access Kentucky more than once. Pound has played an important role in the history of our area and continues to be a vibrant community. The North Fork of Pound Lake is one of the most beautiful areas for recreation and sport. Boating, fishing, and hiking are just a few things that our visitors do on their annual visits to Pound. Well-known Pound natives include Gary Francis Powers, the U-2 spy pilot captured by the Russians in 1960, Glenn Roberts, an early NBL star and the originator of the basketball jump shot, and Napoleon Hill, author of Think and Grow Rich, one of the very first motivational and personal finance books. We call it picking in the pound. There's always someone that comes to place. Musicians have this way of communicating with each other. It's just so good. I would love to have something for those children, those people 30 to 45, to have a place to, to work. And place for them to be at home and work there. Now, I guess I'm a firm believer. If you give people opportunity, you know, they're going to take advantage of it and they want to make a good living for their family and have a good place for, for their family to live. Pam is a, an excellent retirement community. We're close to Norton, close to Bristol, and you can, uh, in no time, you can get up Kentucky to Pikeville. We have some really good property that people can build. Now, maybe not right in Pound, but Pound includes Indian Creek, Mill Creek, Mulcahy, and all that area. And there's some good property there. Uh, something else that people might enjoy doing is going to, uh, if they like to play golf, is going over to Raven Rock Golf Club. Now if you don't know what Raven Rock is, it's at the top of the mountain between Pound and Jenkins. Beautiful. The Pro Arts Center, located adjacent to the J.W. Adams Combined School, promotes the arts to the general public through theater and musical events. We invite you to come to Pound, Virginia, and see why it is one of the most unique and entertaining places around. Wise, Virginia is a progressive town with a rich history. As the county seat for Wise County, the town of Wise has also become a commercial and legal center. But Wise still maintains its small town charm and friendliness, with historic buildings including the historic Wise Courthouse, the Inn at Wise, and several stately downtown homes. With the University of Virginia's College at Wise and our excellent public schools, the town of Wise is also a leader in education and cultural activities, from concerts and sporting events in the new UVA Wise Convocation Center to theater, art, and music events in the new Gillum Center for the Arts. The town of Wise features two shopping complexes and a variety of small downtown businesses offering everything from local crafts and antiques to fine furniture. Wise also features a number of restaurants for whatever your appetite desires. In the fall, the town of Wise gathers together with the Wise famous fall fling with a variety of music, 
crafts, games, and food for the whole family. I'm really proud of the progress that we've seen in WISE over the last 20 years and the quality of life aspects. Uh, we've got Belden Dotson Park here just a couple miles down the road that's, I don't know, we've got five or six baseball fields, football fields, soccer fields, and that facility is in use 365 days a year. There are a lot of opportunities in WISE for light to medium industrial um, manufacturing businesses. Uh, I know a lot of people here like to turn wrenches, uh, like to work with their hands and take great pride in manufacturing something that they can look at at the end of the day and be proud of. There are a lot of recreational activities in and around WISE that WISE could be that hub for people to come and uh, put down roots for a few days and enjoy the, uh, the surroundings, the winery, uh, the high knob recreational areas, uh, uh, the many rivers and streams. If you like to fish and hunt, you know, this is a great area. Um, the Big Glades facility is the, the newest facility in town. It's a wonderful venue for performing arts and musical acts, uh, it's just a great meeting place, great meeting place. As a member of the IDA, I know we work with uh, many businesses and business prospects uh, to enhance their bottom line, find adequate facilities for them to house their business, and look into any tax incentives or any way we can help uh, get them established in the community. WISE in the last 15 to 20 years has invested heavily in uh, high-speed internet, um, water, sewer, and, and has the infrastructure in, in place to um, accommodate any business that wants to, to locate in WISE. New businesses should really take a hard look at locating the lives. Uh, number one, quality of life. It's a slower paced life than, than uh, any areas, but it is very conducive to, uh, to that small to medium sized business. You know, everything is here that anyone would need. Located in Wise, Virginia, the University of Virginia's College at Wise is a college community filled with valued residents of our region. The University of Virginia's College at Wise is recognized as one of the top public liberal arts colleges in the nation. The only branch of the University of Virginia, UVA Wise, was founded in 1954 and currently enrolls approximately 2,000 students. UVA Wise is home to Virginia's only undergraduate degree program in software engineering. The college offers 30 majors, 32 minors, 7 pre-professional programs, and 24 teaching licensures. UVA Wise has been selected for inclusion in Colleges of Distinction, which recognizes institutions for engaging students, great teaching, vibrant campus communities, and successful student outcomes. Wise County, Virginia is a unique place to live, play, and work. The towns are close in proximity with a diverse workforce and our community is hoping to find new, vibrant businesses that are interested in coming and making their permanent home with us. Our people's skills are also diverse from agriculture and mining to finance and education. Two of Southwest Virginia's premier educational institutions are here in Wise County with Mountain Empire Community College and the University of Virginia's College at Wise and brand new high schools being built now. Wise County is ready for new people and new industry.
As you can see here, infrastructure is available to service a variety of different types of industry from heavy manufacturing to high-tech software development. There are three Wise County Industrial Park sites that can service the needs of new companies with available land and a number of tax incentives for new businesses. All of these sites feature reliable and affordable utilities for most types of industrial and technological work. So now that you have watched this video and seen a brief sample of life and work in Wise County, Virginia, we would like to invite you for a visit. Come and see why many successful companies have already chosen Wise County, Virginia as their home and why you should too. Thank you for watching our video and we hope to see you here in Wise County, Virginia soon.